Welcome to another video on Power BI interview questions. Hope you're watching this series from beginning. The next question which you may be asked is, I have a visual on which brand is on category axis and net major is on the value axis. I would like to add the city column on the tooltip, but there is multiple cities. How can I show all the city values on the tooltip? So what happens is when you put a categorical variable on a tooltip, usually it shows the first or the last value. But I want to show all the values. So how can you do that? So one of the thing which will come to your mind is that I can give a tooltip page. Yes, that's a solution. What happens if the person doesn't want the tooltip page? Then how would you do that? So for that, what you can do is you can create a major which actually concatenates these cities. So the answer you will be giving is that for that, I will concatenate the values of the city in a major and I will use that major as a tooltip. So concatenate x is the function you can use. Value city is the first argument or the table would be the first argument. Value city is going to ensure the distinct cities. Then you give the column which you want to be concatenated. Concatenation separator which is comma space in this case. And then in case you want to give an order by you can have again one more argument. So in this manner you can solve this problem. So let me showcase you this on the Power BI desktop. So let's jump out of the Power BI desktop. I'm on the Power BI desktop and for this question, let me create a page Q63 and here I'll add a brand wise visual item brand. Let me have net on this. Now in this visual right now you're seeing only brand and net. Let's say I want city on the tooltip. I'll go to the geography table and from there I'll drag city on the tooltip. So I'll scroll down and I'll get a tooltip option in the visual. From the geography table, I can drag city on the tooltip. Let me do that. And as you can see, it is showing the first city. So you can click on this arrow and after that, you can use the summarization as first, last count or distinct count. But we don't need this. We actually need all the cities. Right now, when you hover over it, you see only one city. I want to see all the cities. So for that, let's go ahead and create a major. I'll go ahead and click on the major table, which I have. And I can see the table tool. And inside the table tool also, I have an option for majors. So I can create new major using the new major option inside the table tool. If we click on that, I'll call it, let's say, all cities, concatenate x, values, geography city, geography city is the expression. So, syntax here is basically the table where I give value city for distinct expression, the one which I want to concatenate, delimiter, and the order by expression. So, let's continue. So, value geography city, expression is geography city, delimiter is comma space and order by is again geography city. Let's try this out. Now I got all the cities. I would like to add that into the tooltip. So let me remove the old one, drag the all cities to tooltip and now just check it out. As you can see, I'm getting all the cities. And because most of my brands are sold on the all the cities, you're seeing this. But if you want to differentiate, what you can do is let's bring in state in place of brand here. Remove, remove the brand and bring in state here. And now you will see there are different, different cities we're getting for each state. So in this manner, you can create a concatenated tooltip whenever you want to show multiple values instead of first and last. In this manner, you can attempt this question. Thank you for taking time to watch this video. Your curiosity and quest for the knowledge are what's inspiring this series. If you have any question or topic you would like me to explore in this series, please let me know in the comments below. Your support is truly means the world to us. It's the reason we create and share these videos. If you have enjoyed this content and would like to see more, please consider liking, sharing and commenting. It helps us immensely. Until next time, keep learning and stay connected. Thank you.